What's going on guys? It's me here back again with another video. The video topic of the day is going to be your purpose requires a process. Now as I get into this video, I want you guys to understand that whatever it is that you want to do in your life, you know, you're going to come against some things that may be bigger than you, that may knock you down, that may set you back, but you have to continue moving forward because you know, whatever you're going after, it's not a race, it's a marathon. You have to, you know, get back up and show up every single day. Now, as I get into this video, um, I want to explain um, one of the things that I've been dealing with here recently. Um, I know you see my eye. I was uh, recently involved in a motorcycle accident. Um, a drunk driver ended up, you know, pulling out in front of me and... Um, after that, he pretty much fled the scene, but uh, he ended up getting caught. So, ended up working out for me. But right now, I'm in the waiting process of all this. I'm feeling anxious, nervous. I'm in pain. You know, I'm out of work right now. And it's just like, you know, thing, a lot of this has been bothering me. But I understand that this is one of the processes that I got to go through it to receive the blessings that, you know, are already destined for me. And this may be one of the things that I have to go through to get to the things that I do want in life. And, you know, if anything, this is just a big wake up call for me to realize, you know, I posted, you know, something about my eye on Facebook and I received a ton of love. I, um, I had no idea that so many people were behind me and um, had so much love for me and were glad to see me alive. And, um, you know. That's just a, a big wake up call for me. You know, sometimes you just have to, you know, endure the things that you may be facing today, you know, so you can prosper tomorrow. It's dangerous to give up too soon. It's dangerous to, you know, feel like you have too much weight on your shoulders and just push everybody and everything away. And, you know, that's what I was in the process of doing here recently after this last motorcycle accident. This is my third one, by the way. And I ended up watching... You know, one of my buddies passed away on the bike as well. So I'm dealing with a lot of trauma, anxiety, and depression from this. But, you know, there ain't no excuses, you know. I just got to spend more time on myself, you know, do more meditation, um, get back into these yoga classes, and just, you know, put more time into investing inside of myself. And also, you know, one of the things that I've been lacking on is just prayer. Prayer alone, you know what I'm saying, is incredible. Um... If you would have seen my eye a couple of days ago, it was completely swollen shut. It was all the way out to about here and uh, everything was different. But, you know, a lot of people prayed for me, sent a lot of positive energy my way. And like, look at me now, you know what I'm saying? It, it's working out. So the message I have for you guys today is um, if you would have got your blessing or the things that you want in life, you know, 10 years ago, five years ago, 10 months ago, you might have not been ready for it. You know, God had to put you through these situations and things that you had learned in order to be ready to, you know, receive the things that, you know, the universe have already aligned for you. You know what I'm saying? You just had to reach a certain frequency. You had to reach a certain level to let you know that whatever it is that was inside of you, you know what I'm saying? Like, the universe had to get it out of you one way or another. I had to put you through some tough situations, had to take some things from you. Like whatever it may have been for you, you know, you have to get put in those situations to, you know, to wake up, to to realize that you have a purpose here. And like me almost losing my life this way, it's like it all happened so fast. I was driving down the road. I thought the truck was, you know, staying in his lane. I thought he was going to keep driving past. I had I was driving straight. And uh, out of nowhere, he decided to turn left right in front of me onto a little side street. And, like, I literally had no time to react. Thank God that I did turn into it like a football hit because if I would have froze up like a deer in the head, like, I probably wouldn't be sitting here having this message with you guys where I'd probably be paralyzed, you know what I'm saying? Because the whole right side of my body took all the force instead of my face and neck, you know, taking the initial force of everything. So... Huge blessing to be here. Extremely grateful and thankful to be here. And um, whatever happens from this point on, man, I just want to put my best foot forward and continue to try. And, you know what I'm saying? Just not give up when things get tough. You know, like right now, I completely moved away from my city. I don't have any of my friends or families, you know what I'm saying, near me. And I'm dealing with everything damn near alone. 
and um it's a lot it, it's very difficult to you know main, maintain your faith and keep going forward when you know there's things that are stopping you and it's like sometimes it's not even external things sometimes it's just yourself sometimes it's the way you're thinking sometimes it's the way you're feeling and the way you feel is what you will eventually attract into your life and I've been feeling such these low negative feelings and I understand what happens when I continue to think and feel that way the relationships around me to begin to fade and go away and that's not what I want you know what I'm saying so one of the things that I've been trying to tune into is, you know, just understanding that this is a temporary season inside of my life. And I have to trust that whatever I need to learn inside of this process is going to help me change into the person I need to be so I can stop dealing with the same cycle of events that I keep dealing with to learn this specific lesson. So whatever it is, you know, that you want to do, go ahead and put your best foot forward. It's 2020. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to you have to be grateful that you're even alive. There's a lot of people that made it to 2020 but didn't even make it five days into 2020 without losing their life. I was almost one of these people. You know what I'm saying? So enjoy the time you do have and do the things that you have on your heart. You know, if you feel like there's something stopping you, then you have to look in the mirror and then that's what is stopping you. You know what I'm saying? Take control of your mind. Take control of yourself. Take control of your life. But also at the same time, take control of the process because the process is what's going to help you get to your purpose. It's what's going to help you do the things that you want to do because everybody's different. Everybody have a different purpose in life. Some people want to be a doctor. Some people want to be a motivational speaker. Some people want to be on the news. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has a different form of what they call their purpose in life. But Everybody has one thing in particular that is the same, and that is a process. You have to do certain steps to get to wherever you're trying to go. And a lot of the times on your path, you're going to run up against, you know, roadblocks, speed bumps, railroad tracks, everything that's meant to slow you down. But you have to slow down a little bit, cruise over them, and keep going. Keep moving forward. Never let the situations of life hold you back. Like, let me be the example. Like, I'm, I'm literally... You know, overcoming depression, PTSD, and anxiety. But, you know, there's something that I want to do. And I'm going to fight the feelings that I have right now until I can get help. And I still want to inspire the people around me. So, if you resonate with this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. But, you know, ever since I almost lost my life, you know, this is just bringing back new passion for me. And I want you guys to understand who I am as a person. I want to express myself the best that I can. So until the next video, you guys take it easy. To the next one, peace. Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. All your support will be greatly appreciated. Peace.